I'm New Age Server Alarm, and this is Mini System Test 20 with my notifier panel, my really rare notifier panel. This is called an SGL1000. It's a single zone conventional panel made by Notifier Emhart in 1986. See the date? And it looks very basic, but it actually does a lot more than it looks, which is kind of surprising. Reset silence and alarm silence, and the alarm LED doesn't work, so the trouble LED takes its place. Never seen that before. Kind of interesting. It's got a buzzer in it, like this. And, yeah, so. What's unique about it, though, is it has a three-wire zone. And I don't know if many people know what a three-wire zone is, but... Basically, the zone connection has three wires. One of them is for the smokes, and one of them is for the non-smokes. And I resistored it off at the panel, because I'm not sure where you put the end of line in this case. So, anyway. But, realistically, though, you'd put the end of line at the end of the circuit, but I didn't here, so, never mind. It's got a knack output and a releasing output, and I'm assuming that the releasing output is like a non-silenceable strobe circuit, so, which is kind of interesting, so it's kind of like it has two knacks, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Then that top resistor is the battery. It actually says if you're not using battery backup, you could put a resistor on it to cancel out the battery backup. It even gives you instructions on how to wire up one of these things. So there's like a miniature manual inside the door, which I think is kind of unique. So, it's phone numbers on it because it had a dialer in it at one point, but I took it out. And also, the insides were blackened and crap because this is not the original circuit board. I actually happened to find this on eBay and was like, holy crap, I need that. But the cabinet is the original one. Here's the original one. What happened here, I, I never power this one up because I doubt it works. Reason being, it got hit by lightning. See? It's scorched right there and stuff, so I never powered it up. But, yeah. SGL 1000. I got my Notifier LNG pulse station right here. And this was also made by Emhart. And I got my Notifier Emhart strobe up here. And... Next to that, I've got an Amseco Bell. And the reason why I'm using an Amseco Bell is because I have a picture somewhere that says Notifier Emhart rebranded the Amseco Bell. So. Then lastly, I've got a 4-wire I3 with the heat detector and the built-in relay. So, 4WTRB. I'm using this because I was supposed to be getting a smoke detector made by Hoshiki that is identical to a model that Notifier Emhart had except non-branded, but the person who was supposed to be sending it to me has not sent it yet, so I'm going to have to have a word with him. <laughs> okay, so, anyway, whenever you're ready, here we go. Another interesting feature about this panel, it has verification. See? So, yeah, it doesn't go off if you don't have it down enough. This thing does a lot for a one-zone panel, so here we go. There. Reset the pull. There. Now the panel's back to normal, so... Now let's do the I3 up here. So, we just get the smoke saver. I love this thing. I want to get, I'm going to get another one sometime. Spray a little bit of stuff. Even though the I3 has a test switch, I feel like smoking it out. Reset that, and turn the trouble off, and there. 
back to normal now. So that's pretty much it.